Doctors don't want to take Medi-Cal. So we actually put a plan together in this last year's budget to put over a billion dollars over the next couple of years to actually increase the Medi-Cal reimbursement rates so that doctors will want to see more patients. So we've done that in the state capital. Uh, we've also done things, what's the other thing that we always have a hard time finding? Doctors that want to live here in the valley, right? <laughs> yes or no? Yes. Right, because for some reason they always want to go to the Bay Area or they want to go to the beach. <laughs> and so, uh, you know, one of my first bills when I first got introduced was Stephen uh, Thompson Repayment Loan Program. It says that we'll help you pay for your medical school costs if you serve in an underserved area. Guess what the valley is? <laughs> an underserved area, right? So they have to at least practice here three and a half years in order to uh, to get help with their medical costs, or with their medical school costs. Yeah. And those three and a half years, I always ask you guys what? Make them get some roots and stay, <laughs> right? Get them married, get them have a family, get them involved, get them to stay here. So in this last year's budget, we've actually increased the amount of money for residency programs and to actually pay for those medical school costs uh, for those doctors. And so, you know, we've been doing what we can at the state. Is there more that can be done? Absolutely. Right? That's why you guys are here to tell us kind of the issues as well so that we can push forward. But those are some of the things that we've been working on at the state level. And, uh, you know, hopefully we'll have some help at the congressional level too. Uh, you guys remember the big fight that we had with Big Pharma last year in terms of prescription uh, drug prices? Right? I believe that was uh, Dr. Ed Hernandez's bill. Um, that we pushed through at the Capitol as well. We're hearing a little bit about that over in D.C. too, where they're talking about the cost, so let's see what they end up doing over there. But just know that we're here to fight for you guys. Um, always willing to stand up for you guys, because we've got to do what's right and what's going to help our families and what's going to help our community here in the Valley. So thank you guys for the invitation. I look forward to talking to everybody individually afterwards, and I don't want to get in the way of lunch any longer. <laughs> so thank you guys.